In video tutorial text to video feature, hello guys, Ilya here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we easily create videos from text using invideo.io. This online platform provides us the opportunity to create videos from our scripts. So in order to get started we need to create an account as you can see I'm already on my dashboard. And let's click on text to video feature right up here, click on plus to create a video and here we need to choose the template we are going to use as for us. All they provide is like a designed text template. So for example, if it's suitable for us to use like white and blue uh, colors, we can easily use this template. But in the future, I will show you how to customize these templates as for us. So in my case, I'm going to use this one here. So I'm just going to click and uh, here we need to choose the format from landscape, square, portrait. Uh, honestly, I'm going to use landscape and I'm going to click on use template. And uh, here we are on this page here where we need to paste our script. So I'm going to paste it right up here. As for me, this is a most suitable variant. So as you can see, it looks like this. Now we can simply click on create sense and the uh, like platform provides us the opportunity to rearrange it as for us to split them into different like articles. So now it looks like this. It will be easier as for us to create, uh, you know, sense. So let's click on create sense and it may take a little time. It depends on the server's capacity, on your internet speed and so on. And after that, we'll come to this page where we have our editor. As you can see in the left side, there is like menu with script uploads. In the script area, we can find the opportunity to work with our sense. We can delete, duplicate or uh, formalize our text. On the plots area, we can use our own media so we can easily upload our pictures, videos from our computer. We can simply just find them and drag and drop. On the videos area, we can find the opportunity to work with stock videos. We can change the background and so on. So for example, we can just simply drag and drop it right up here. And in a few seconds, the like option will be to replay. So as you can see, uh, we successfully replaced this area here with this video, but I'll tell about it a little bit later. On the images area, we can find all of the stock images we can easily use. As you can see, there are a lot of them. We can search for different categories. For example, let's try to find for AI. Maybe we'll find something suitable. Yeah, as you can see, there are a lot of photos we can easily use. Also, there is the option to work with music. Uh, we can find a lot of different categories uh, from different like stocks or we can simply upload our own music. On the text area there are a lot of different text we can simply use like the typography, minimalism and some other categories. We can just simply drag and drop it right up here and after that they'll be successfully edit. As you can see we can just simply edit to write maybe uh, something about this guy here. So it's pretty, it's on you basically. And we also had the opportunity to add our logo, add different elements like stickers, shapes, overlays and so on. So sometimes it could be really helpful. And also like how we can switch between different templates in this area here. And in more area, we can also find like different options, one, two, collage, three, and so on. So it will help us to customize our template. So uh, all we need to know about uh, the right side here, this is our editor basically, where we can move every single part, we can interact with it, we can simply edit text. So just simply click, hover it right up here, we can change the size. I'm going to make it less, we can make it bold, italic, underlined, we can change the color. So this is a way of how can we basically customize the template we are using. So if it's necessary to make it red, we can easily make it red or let it be like yellow. In this case, it looks pretty good. We can add the animation in animation area, like the type slide from down, blue, blur in, let it be like blur in. We can change the duration and a lot of stuff we can easily do. So from this page here. Also, what is interesting that while we are on the first hand, we can manage our background music. I'm going to turn it off. Basically, we can also add our voiceover. As you can see, we can automate text to speech, import from uploads, upload your VO file 
or record your voice on this platform basically it's pretty cool and as you can see we'll uh, just moved to the area where we can manage all these sounds as you can see it looks like this so we can simply change the duration we can zoom in for a little uh, we can just click and then just uh, move from the corners to make it uh, to change the duration as you can see the duration now is like three seconds here so as for me it's pretty cool also we can find all the elements like uh, the text mask video animated circle animated shape rectangle and wave overlay so we can simply just view how does it looks like so let's play and as you can see it looks like this so uh, then the second stand here uh, the third one so as for me, I, I want to make the second scene a little bit shorter. Let it be like three seconds. So it will be a little bit faster. So yeah, for me, it's pretty cool. Also the second, the third scene and so on. So this is the way basically of how can we interact with sense. We can easily add this scene by simply clicking on plus here. We can add blank or from template. Let's add from template and simply we can just go here. So as you can see also a lot of different slides, we can easily use this one here. And basically all we need to do is just to input the uh, necessary text as for us. So all we need to do is just to click, click on it right up here and then just write something. For example, I don't know, let it be like subscribe to my channel. And so on. So basically, this is a way of how can we interact with the text. We can simply change the duration also. And so on. So in the bottom of the screen, there is like so-called timeline we can easily use. And as for me, it's pretty cool. So in order to export, we just simply need to click on this button here. And as you can see, there is like only one option available. Uh, we need to upgrade to export so let's click and discover our plans so as you can see monthly plan is like 30 dollars per month versus 60 dollars per month and they provide us the opportunity to use all the templates uh, no watermark on videos and like uh, 60 hd video exports and unlimited number of exports on the unlimited plan as for me it's pretty cool also like different stock media, premium media and remove background option. So as for me, if you're going to uh, use the, uh, you know, uh, Nvidia, it's better to play early. They have a discount with 50% as for me, it's pretty cool. And the unlimited plan is pretty cool because we have like unlimited number of video exports. So basically uh, this is the way of how can we use Nvidia text to video feature hope guys this video helped you out please leave a like comment and subscribe i wish you a very good day goodbye